morning, Sunshines. The DLC, the Indigo Disc, has been out for almost a full day. And that means a lot of you guys have made a lot of progress, and you're probably wondering where you can find your game's exclusive new uh, Paradox Pokemon. There's two new Paradox Pokemon in each game. Both uh, Scarlet and Violet have two separate, all right, yes, version exclusive Paradox combos. Let's have a look. So, of course, two of them were already revealed. Now, Raging Bolt is a Scarlet exclusive and Iron Crown is a Violet exclusive. But on top of those two, you also get an additional one each, okay? So additional new paradox that has not been revealed. First of all, you have to reach 200 Pokemon entries in your Pokedex for this DLC. And if you started off the DLC already, you would have talked to Perrin here, the photographer you met in the previous DLC, and she would have tasked you with the task of getting 200 entries. Once you've finished those 200 entries, she'll give you these hot tips, these two photographs, which are all the way back in the original Paldea, and you might recognize the location. Well, maybe you don't, but I'm about to show you guys where to find those Pokemon right now. And as you can see, Gouging Fire and Raging Bolt are my two Paradox that I'm gonna get access to here. So uh, we're gonna go get and find them right now, and I'll show you exactly where they are. Very easy for you guys to follow, so you can find them yourselves very easily once you hit that 200 mark. Too. These are pretty cool Pokemon, so let's showcase it. Well, immediately from our girl here, if you want to check out the pictures as many times as you want, you can. But immediately from watching those pictures or seeing those pictures, you can go straight back to the original Paldea region. Go straight to the Zero Gate here. Because yes, these two photographs were taken in Area Zero, in case you did not know that. Now, I know a lot of people may have been uh, looking and looking and I know a lot of people in my chat when I was streaming were also confused they were like they thought they were in the right place and I was just like there's nothing there where is it well I'm about to show you guys because maybe you can make a mistake on it um either way you can go in whichever way you want uh, having the fly ability helps of course you should have that by now if you have 200 Pokemon just FYI I highly recommend you play the first couple of minutes of the DLC before you go catching Pokemon because you will get a catching charm given to you straight away. Oh, we have to go in. Let's go in first. All right, so drop in to area zero real quick and you'll start at the usual entrance, the entrance you always start in all the time. So uh, unless you choose to go down further and start off in one of the bases, but this is the default entrance right here. And from the default entrance, all we have to do is take flight here and we're gonna go straight across to the longest, tallest waterfall with the rainbow, which is that one right in front of us, just about. So we're gonna go right over there. There's a bunch of waterfalls around here, so it's easy for people to maybe get confused, maybe make a mistake of where that might have been, but uh, this is the waterfall you want to go to, and we're just gonna stay up high, because the first one, the gouging fire, is right up here at the top. It's not actually that hard, honestly, but, I know, as uh, those pictures are kind of hard to see as well, so it's something that is worth doing a video on, worth covering, so people can find their locations. You clicked into it for a reason, let's just say that. And there he is, there he is. Hey, buddy. There he is. <laughs> he looks wild, he's got this giant crown. So this is the Entei Ente Paradox, he's got a long tail. Let's go ahead and encounter him. That's it. Engra. There he is. I'm gonna throw a Master Ball at this donkey. Uh, there goes our Archaludon. He's tiny for a bridge, which is kind of sad. Anyway, uh, let's go put him in a Master Ball. I have a bunch of Master Balls now, so... If you didn't, hot tip of my own, uh, go to your Mystery Gifts and go get via internet. You don't need a code. You'll get a free Master Ball if you haven't done that already. That's been a Mystery Gift that's been live since the beginning of the DLC, uh, almost a day ago, so... You can get that if you haven't already. There is our Gouging Fire, Fire Dragon. Very cool Pokemon, very cool typings too. Fire Dragon, it's got Burning Bulwark, Special Move, Dragon Rush, uh, Fire Blast, Lava Plume. And it also does come with Photosynthesis, gonna make it a monster of a Pokemon. And that is Pokemon number one, exclusive to Scarlet, that one. We get that added to our decks too. And the other one is actually quite close. Uh, you can see, if you look at the pictures again, that it actually shows this waterfall with the rainbow on it. But it's actually on the other side of this foggy hole. So we're gonna go all the way to the other side, to the bottom of that other waterfall over there, because it's better perspectives. You are actually looking at the waterfall behind me with the, the rainbow and all that 
from all the way over here. So <laughs> we're gonna go all the way over there now and get the Raging Bolt. It's just down here. You can drop a lot here because actually it's just in that little part where the waterfall comes out. We can do that. And let's fly the rest of the way. You'll be able to see them if you are lurking, looking for yourselves. You'll be able to see them yourselves fairly easily anyway. Uh, if you are searching in relatively the correct areas. So yeah, there's the rock in the water you would have recognized. And there is our Raging Bolt. And you can see him from quite a bit of distance. Let's go get this one too. Hey buddy, head in the clouds. <laughs> That's so cool. He has lightning effects and everything. That's so cool. These paragraphs are really sick. There's only one of a kind for each, I believe. And you will have to do some trading or wait for perhaps a raid event to get your hands on the other exclusives if you don't have the other games yourselves. So, or my giveaway. I will do a giveaway for these. I think it will be a good one for people to get their hands on because I think a lot of people will not want to trade theirs away since they can only get the one set. Done. That is Raging Bolt. That's Electric Dragon. Really good typings. Some moves here as well. Some new moves, no, no doubt. Thunderclap, Dragon Hammer, Rising Voltage, Dragon Pulse. Pokemon Violet also has two exclusives. And from the default entrance, now even though I don't have Violet and I do not have those Pokemon appearing to showcase to you, I will show you the locations exactly so you guys who have Violet can find them. This is the default entrance starting again. And for the first one, Iron Crown, all we have to do is go down here this little enclave here near the waterfall. You should be able to see that control center over there. But what we want to do is we want to go into this hole down here. Now I'm just gliding, so I don't even need to fly for this one. This is where you would see on your picture, in your game, on your quest, where your iron crown would be standing. So let's just get rid of that there. And uh, the picture in question will look like him standing right like this, in this exact position. And if you look at the picture, everything looks exactly like this. So your Iron Crown is gonna be right in here. Going from Iron Crown to the last one, the other unrevealed one, well, all we have to do is jump out here and going towards that waterfall with the rainbow again. We're actually just gonna go down a bit here. Down quite far, I think, like, like it would normally expect to be. And we're gonna be looking for like some uh, lopsided collapsed piece, piece of land like we did before. And that, that's it right there, actually, right down there. Very, very close to Iron Crown, very straight path. If you go down here, just past that big boulder, just slightly to the right when you're jumping off of the cliff from Iron Hands. This is your second picture, which will show you this lopsided piece of land with this rock right here, and your unrevealed Paradox Pokemon will be right in here for you to catch. That is both for Scarlet and Violet now done. Hopefully you guys found that useful. Well, GG, that is all four new exclusive paradoxes, two of which are exclusive to separate games. So do keep that in mind. You'll have to do some trading or wait for my giveaways in order to get your hands on all of them. Uh, so good luck. I mean, we do have a massive Discord. Link is in the description for anyone who wants to try and do some trading. But understandably, a lot of people, since you're only getting one copy of each of these Pokemon, May, may, many people may not want to actually give them up to strangers. So just do the, keep that in mind. But I will have these in a giveaway soon enough. So you will be able to get the other two eventually. And uh, hopefully this guide has helped all of you with both games. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around the next video. Have a good one. Bye.